All right, it's Wednesday. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. All right, Jim, it happened. Apple unveiling that $1,000 iPhone. What will it mean for the services revenue? Well, I, I've actually been trying to work on that, and it's not easily defined, but what I think when you hear a lot about augmented reality, you got to remember what happened last year with Pokemon Go mm. and recognize that what, that's not one off. Gaming's the most important force uh, I know right now. Take a look at the stock of Take Two. Take a mm -hmm. look at Activision Blizzard, which we own for Action Alert, and I will talk about tomorrow when we have our monthly call. And what you're seeing is people will pay up for games. So if you have a device that's better for games, it matters, particularly if you have an ecosystem. I know a lot of people are saying that this isn't as good as Samsung. Well, Samsung doesn't have an ecosystem, or else we would all buy Samsung if it's really good and cheaper. And it has to do with the seamless nature. Um, I hope you guys, I think Apple's so important, and I know that uh, Sarge, who uh, is just the best, has a really good piece about Apple today, and I hope it comes up in your trading strat strategy discussion at 12 o'clock, because I think it's that big and that important for the gross domestic product. We're going to talk about that, and also that OLED screen on the new iPhone, the impact yeah, on universal display. Well, I mean, we've been, you know, this is one of those where uh, I've been so far, so long behind Universal yeah. Display, and a lot of that is because it happens to be very near uh, my hometown, and I've done a huge amount of work on it and met, met a lot of people, and I just think it's always been for real, and there are a lot of people who are shorted, and I just think it makes no uh, uh, sense to short it, but I understand now everybody's kind of hearing about it, so this is not the time to buy it. A lot of people say on my Twitter files, it's too late to buy it, and I always say the same thing, which is yes. You have to wait it for another time. And I got that way because Karen Kramer ran my trading desk when we were uh, at Kramer Company, would always say, I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, are you kidding me now? I mean, recommending it for 40 points and now people come in? So the answer is Karen Kramer's right. Huh. All right, in the midst of all this Apple news, Micron technology was upgraded by Goldman Sachs. Yeah, see, Micron's really important because what's happened is it looks like Western Digital's not going to get the flash business. Mm. Uh, if they had, then it's a possibility that they would blow out Flash. Instead, it looks like it's being bought by Bain with Apple. They're not going to try to blow out Flash. They're just going to try to get Flash at a, le at a cheaper price. So there could be two tiers of Flash. That's good for Micron. Prices for the DRAMs have not come down. Uh, the reason why uh, Western Digital is down besides that is because now Western Digital is Flash, which is good for data center, and also it's disk drive, which is a really bad business right now. Micron is disk drive and DRAM, and both of those, I'm sorry, Micron is, is DRAM and Flash. Flash is used in the data center, and DRAM used in pretty much everything, including Apple. So the case for Micron is that there's going to be another quarter uh, where it, it's no, you know, this is a stock that historically, when it's not gone up after it reported, it was the peak. Uh, this time it's taken out its high, so it's not the peak, and I think that the shorts are going to have to scramble here. Now, you don't own Micron for Action Alerts Plus, but you do own Broadcom. We own the higher value part of the food chain. We own NVIDIA, which is not just cryptocurrency, please. <laughs> I mean, it's 10% of which some is China, but it, you own NVIDIA because it's intellectual property. And we own Broadcom because that is going to be the most, Broadcom has the most in the new Apple. And I think that what happened is if you go back and look at the Broadcom conference call uh, with Hock Tan, the brilliant CEO, he did not raise guidance as much as people thought. And I think that's because he knew that Apple wasn't ready to ship in the quantities that a lot of people felt they would. So Broadcom going down is a little dumb given the fact that, that Hock Tan it, if you read between the lines, told you this would happen. So as uh, as Broadcom comes down, and again, I will hit this very hard uh, in our ActionAlertsPlus.com club call, as Broadcom comes down, it's a buy, not a sell. Mm. Uh, staying with Apple, though, I mean, did the event yesterday bolster your view that Apple is a consumer products company? Yeah, I mean, Bleach sells at 28 times earnings in this market, and this sells at 16 times earnings. I, I think that what people have to recognize about the phone is always the same. It's a, uh, it's a consumer products company that is the best in the world, that has the highest customer service rating. And that's what determines it. I think that there are a lot of technology people who would come back and say, yes, but it doesn't have the uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence that we get out of companies that use NVIDIA's chips. Th that's not the point. It's not an enterprise product, it's a consumer product. So if it's a consumer product, you can't view it like it's going to be Red Hat or VM VMware mm. or, or ServiceNow or Salesforce four companies that I love, mm. stocks I love, so it's not like I'm saying, you know, it's gotta be one or the other. It's a completely different animal, and you're not comparing apples to apples, but a lot of the, of the technology analysts 
are in the apples to apples uh, comparison game, which is false. Uh, I think that you have to be a Procter & Gamble analyst. Uh, a, a Newell, which has not been a good stock of late for us at Action Alerts, plus we're going to talk about that too, tomorrow's uh, conference call. But you know, the, you, these consumer products companies uh, uh, trade on level of satisfaction and, and uh, customer satisfaction, and there's nothing like Apple's customer satisfaction. Well, you uh, rock your Apple Watch every day. I Are you like going to get it. the new I, one? I got a phone call during my stop trading, and it was really important. I looked down and I changed my game. Uh, I also use all my reminders. I uh, have it programmed so that uh, when my wife calls, uh, I can answer very, you know, I know that it's her, which is what I need, so I don't pull the phone out and be rude. I also use it, uh, my daughter has been sending me pictures from this unbelievable trip she's taking in Colorado, wow. and I look at them, it makes me smile, but I also get to take medicine that I have to take for arthritis and smile. And uh, I just find it's terrific. I, I didn't buy the last iteration. I am going to look at the next iteration and suggest very strongly that my wife buy it for me without it, maybe just have a picture of it next to her bed bedside. <laughs> And Jim, I couldn't wait to ask you this because Tim Cook was speaking at the Steve Jobs Theater. Now, you were at Apple Park when you interviewed Tim Cook. Yes. What was it like? I mean, well, I mean, it had just been, it just, we were in the, pre, in the old place and we got to visit the new one. Uh, the new one was kind of uh, awe-inspiring, but this is important. What people have to realize is that physical plan out there, uh, whether it be Google, which is okay, whether it be Facebook, where they're making dorms, whether it be Apple, that it, it, it's about sustainability. It, it, it's about small footprint. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, these are things that uh, older people just mouth. Say, oh, it's got small footprint. Uh, that younger people who hate packaging, who want to know about the environment and who's destroying it, this determines where, in many ways, if you have six or a half dozen, who you work with. And the Apple sustainability factor is going to help them get the right people. And it could also encourage more people to, to participate in this stay-at-home economy, which could help Grubhub shares, as you talk yeah, about. Yeah, we talk about Grubhub. I mean, you know, look, I, I've had to succumb at Bar San Miguel. There's a bar I run, and I've had to succumb to the notion of, of people coming by and of takeout. Now, obviously, I don't want to do that because the food is freshest if you eat it there, and also because it's a tavern and sell, you sell liquor. But I mention it, as I have learned from my inn, uh, the DeBarry, and have learned from Bar San Miguel, this is how you learn. Uh, now, I'm fortunate enough to have done well enough in, in previous life as a hedge fund manager to be able to have these things, but I have learned far more from Bar San Miguel and far more from the DeBarry Inn than I have from a lot of Wall Street research. And the fact is, is that I've had to cave to the grub hubs of the world, which is why I recommended it, and this company's been on Mad Money, and it's a fabulous story. Callan has a good report about it if you want to read, you know, flesh out the actual substantive story. Mm. Moving on, uh, Nordstrom in close talks to become private. Yeah, I don't know why people are still reluctant to buy this. The Nordstrom, maybe they don't know the Nordstrom brothers. The honest is the day is long and uh, unless the story was, was, story was not refuted, uh, I don't think you're going to be able to, I think you're going to get this at a higher price. Now, uh, one of the things that, that we hear about is that you need to be private to be able to take on Amazon. It, no, you just, you need to be a visionary. You got to bring in lots of different companies. You got to bring in Salesforce. You got to bring in New Relic. Uh, you got to bring in uh, VMware. You got to bring in uh, Red Hat. You have to bring in Google uh, Web Services. Uh, you have to bring in uh, Microsoft Azure. There's a lot of different companies that you have to bring in that just to be able to just get the basics uh, and I think that that all has to happen. Uh, Nordstrom's pretty far along, but not far enough. Mm. Now, Jim, there was so much news yesterday. People may have missed uh, the Caterpillar analyst meeting. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Caterpillar is a remarkable company in that at 60, people worried about its survival. Uh, at 120, people recognize that it's playing offense. It has slimmed down unbelievably. Uh, it does have, because of the dollar, the, uh, you know, the cost advantage that it's never had over the, uh, well, it's been a long time since it had it over uh, Komatsu. Uh, we are, do have giant infrastructure projects in this country because of storms uh, it, where they have to rebuild. The rebuilding of roads is done by Florida and by Texas, two r rich states. The uh, Chinese economies come back. I know that my friend Matt Horwing was telling me, don't forget, copper is now down, down getting, getting hard. But I come back and say aluminum's going back up. There are so many drivers for Caterpillar in the uh, essence of the of the analyst day was okay. Here's how we're going to play offense. It, it's been a long time since Cat's been able to say that. All right, Jim. And as we wrap up here, you mentioned Salesforce earlier, but we have one earnings report to watch on Thursday: Oracle. 
I think Oracle's going to have a remarkable quarter. Oracle, uh, Larry Ellison, uh, Mark Hurd, uh, Safra Katz, you just got to hand it to them. They never stopped. They've got an on-premises model, but they've got a cloud model, and the stock is very inexpensive, and I, my hat is off to them. I, I was with my friend Tom Siebel yesterday, uh, Siebel Systems, great company, and uh, we were talking about how uh, counting out Larry and counting out Oracle has been a time-honored and incorrect view, and it will be incorrect again. All right, Jim Kramer, thank you so much. We'll leave thank it there, you. and we hope everyone joins in on our Trading Strategies Roundtable. And our uh, conference call tomorrow for club members, yes. Action Alerts. There's going to be some really good ideas. Tomorrow at 11.30, that AAP call. Jim, thank you.